it's time. We changed around our dining room. One of the changes in the room is this piece of furniture right here. Steph put it together last night. And now the room is not so cluttered. Let me show you how it works. Pretty simple piece of furniture, actually. Pillows here. This lifts up like this. Whoop. Shifts from the wall too when you lift it. A little cubby hole to hide your slippers. It's chilly in this house. We also hung a few more paintings in the dining room. Check it out. Something else I discovered last night. This painting right here, Epiphany. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love where it's located. Safe to say I'm not moving it anywhere anytime soon. We hung up Sunrise on the canal right here. It's a nice little spot above the light switch. Gerbera Daisies, I think this one is called. Someone sent an email recently asking about this painting and called it Mayflowers, I think. <laughs> I knew which one she was talking about too. And over here we have a piece Steph completed recently. I don't know the name of it. I don't know if it has a name. It's quite lovely. I think it's lovely. And then of course the painting of the hour. We hung it up here last night and then I said to Steph, I can't believe this painting has never been hanging in this room. So it was quite appropriate before we put it in a box a little bit later to get ready to ship out. I absolutely love the artwork on this corner. This is Maki for Spring, I think, and the title of this painting is Missing You. I love them both. I love them together. These are my girls right here. The coat hanger is now gone. And there are no more coats in this room. The place feels a little bit more free. Look who's here. Uh, hi guys. <laughs> Mackie finally, I was like, no more Mackie. I, I really just gotta get up. <laughs> she likes to snuggle with me in the mornings or afternoons, whenever we wake up. <laughs> she doesn't like to let me get out of bed. I was like, no, I, I gotta get out of bed. Got too much to do. What do you think of the paintings in the room? How do you like the new setup? I was, I came down earlier and I thought, I really like it. It's really like good, positive feelings walking in here. So that's a good thing. Now we gotta figure out what painting we're gonna replace Urban Decay with right there. Yeah, cause we gotta send that one out. <laughs> Another thing to note, no paintings on this corner of the walls because we are putting coat hangers here. You want yeah. to explain our project? We're going to, I think what we're going to try to do is repurpose some old wood that we salvaged from the scary corner and put them over here and then put hooks on them so it, it gives kind of like a, an old school I don't know, like rusty, rustic chic, modern vibe to the coat hangers. There'll be coat hangers here and maybe some hat hangers here because we both like hats. Repurpose the wood from downstairs? Yeah. You okay with that? Yeah. Even though the wood's from the scary room? It, it's no longer in the scary room. It's not the wood that was scary. It was the, the dark corner that was scary. Guess who woke up? Did you wake up? Hmm? Did you wake up? Did you get out of bed? Hmm? Did I make you? Did I push you to get up and get out? Yeah. Well, you pushed me to get up and get out this morning. Because I had to feed her this morning. <laughs> Before we start making coffee and breakfast and continue on with this vlog, let us know what you think. Comments below about the new room. And the same room with the new look. The paintings. The new piece of furniture. By the way, I swept and scrubbed this floor, mopped clean, the whole thing, 
I just see some dust down there. Oh. I was going to applaud you, and then I have to say, nice try. <laughs> and I was so proud. That might be the only dust. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of dust. Yep. Yes, I want to open this package because it just came to our doorstep while we were sleeping. And I know I want to wear some of the clothes in here today. Because we might film something later. Okay, we've got... I'm excited. This is a cat button-up shirt. Because I love everything cat printed or with cats on it. We also got this shirt, which is also a blouse. I thought it was fun because it's got faces and, and hands and I thought it was very artsy because I'm an artist and I like wearing artsy things. A blue jean shirt because the last really nice blue jean shirt that I had, I left in Korea. So I thought this is a classic staple that every woman needs in their wardrobe. A button up blue blouse because I like stripes and I like blue and I like button up shirts because I can dress them up or dress them down. Kind of stocked up because when, Ooh. oh good, it came with the belt. I wasn't sure if it was gonna come with the belt or not. This is a dress. Wow. That I thought was going to be cute. It's kind of got the, the classic like 1940s, 1950s feel to it. You like the material? I do. You know what I've been digging lately are no collars. I like this. Is the shirt, which, yes it does. Again, is a, what looks to be a very simple Stripe shirt, but it's gray stripes, but it's got this high bow collar, which makes it a little different. And I think this will look really great with jeans. And I'm excited! Here is my runway haul. It's time. Hardest painting, without a doubt, we've ever had a wrap. But it's wrapped. Yes, indeed.
entertaining price is all calculated. Email's been sent to the lady. And now it's time for Maki to make sure the boxes are done correctly, properly, sealed, airtight, almost. Yeah, they good? All right. We did something we very rarely do. We came to Applebee's. Classic Americana. Well, modern Americana. <laughs> Versus saw you look tonight, which is pretty eclectic. I was going for vintage Americana. <laughs> Doesn't she look cute tonight? It's after 9 o'clock. Half-price appetizers. Maybe a beer. We went all half-price appetizers. Half-price beer. Actually, I don't know if it's half-price beer. It's $2.50 or $3.50. Yingling from Pennsylvania. Ba-boom! High rolling tonight. We finished our dinner. We're back home now. It looks like we got some coffee. No, this is empty. Coffee? These empty. are empty. We got some empty crock pot. What's in there? Empty crock pot. Steaming up though. It's off. Cooking invisible food. Should we turn it on? It Whoa! First. Big piece of something. It's on the menu. Pork shoulder that's been dusted in salt and pepper and put in with about a cup and a half of apple cider vinegar in the crock pot to cook for 12 hours. And I'm not going to lift the lid because that's going to make the heat escape. <laughs> but it looks like that. So it's a spicy sauce? No, it's like a... It's a tangy sauce and it's going to be a spicy sauce because you let it cook in the vinegar and then tomorrow I'm going to mix in brown sugar, some red pepper flake, and some ground cayenne. So you don't have to put that in now though? No, that doesn't go in until tomorrow. That doesn't go in until the sauce because once it's done cooking, then I take it out, I shred up the pork, and then I just take like two cups of the liquid, put in the brown sugar in the spices, mix that all up, put the meat back in, mix it all up, and it's ready to go. Carolina barbecue. I think we bought to play some cards. I think if Senorita here feels like getting her butt whooped one more time. Uh, you think? We'll see. We'll see if you get your butt whooped or we'll see if we play. Well, let's see if I get my butt whooped. We'll play. We'll oh, so play. we'll play. All right, we're going to play. We're playing cards. Tomorrow, <laughs> Super Bowl party. I know that the videos are a couple days behind. But we're going to the Super Bowl tomorrow. We're pretty excited about the Super Bowl. At least it's a day we can get together with our friends. This is the first time I've witnessed the Super Bowl in the U.S. since 2009? No. 2008. So it's a momentous occasion. That's what I'm getting at. <laughs> it's a day off. We'll see you tomorrow. That's it. We're out of here. Hasta luego. Bye.